Welcome back. President Fatah Sisi gave his directives on Wednesday to depend on domestic components in carrying out the Project of Decent Life initiative amid a shortage in international supply chains. During a meeting to follow up the executive position of the Project of Decent Life initiative, which aims to develop the Egyptian countryside, President Sisi said the move would further help to localize the industry and depend on local technology. The meeting reviewed the steps taken for implementing these projects and the procedures which were taken in each governorate in accordance with its special nature and circumstances. The meeting also tackled the challenges which emerged between the planning stage and the implementation stage and the procedures which were taken to overcome them. The meeting also tackled the impact of the coronavirus pandemic and the Ukrainian crisis on the global supply chains, taking into consideration the unprecedented size of the work within the framework of the initiative's projects which are considered the biggest of its kind in the history of national projects in Egypt. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli stressed the keenness in following up on the details of logistic and other preparations of Climate Conference COP27 in Sharm el Sheikh next November, which represents the culmination of Egypt's efforts in climate work and boosts its role in that pivotal file. This came during Madbouli's meeting at Cabinet headquarters in Al-Alamein with Ministry of Environment Dr. Yasmin Fouad and other concerned officials. At the meeting, Director of Mega Project of Armed Forces Engineering Authority, Major General Ahmed Al-Azizi said that there are 10 projects are affiliated to the authority in Sharm el-Sheikh, among them eye identification, walkway, Bedouin houses. In addition, uh, he said, there is coordination with the Ministry of Environment to hold an exhibition entitled Green Area on the sidelines of the conference to give opportunity for companies and NGOs to present their projects. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli also shared the cabinet meeting in a new Alameen city. The meeting tackled a number of important files on political, economic and social levels, in addition to efforts of controlling markets. It also discussed following up on the ongoing national projects and executive situation of Decent Life Initiative projects to develop Egyptian countryside. Minister of Defense of the Armed Forces Mohammed Zaki met on Thursday with a number of commanders and officers of the Armed Forces appointed to assume leadership positions in the Armed Forces. Lieutenant General Mohammed Zaki, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces and Minister of Defense and Military Production, delivered a speech in which he convoyed greetings for President Abu Fattah sisi and congratulations to commanders and officers for assuming leadership positions at the various levels. This is consider the major responsibility placed on their soldiers to preserve the homeland stability and security. The meeting was of the presence, uh, was in the presence rather, of Lieutenant General Osama Askar, Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces War, leaders of the member branches, a number of senior leaders. The meeting comes within the framework of a series of periodic meetings implemented by the General Command of the Armed Forces to communicate with its fighters to unify concepts on a number of issues and topics related to the Armed Forces.